Well, it's now story time. So Farallon is going to come forward and give us our story for the day. Ryan. Pardon? Ryan. Ryan. It's not spelled that way. Please come forward. And as you see, uh, we are collecting money for our status quo. Well, this lady was on the phone, 
And uh, she was about to tell us to go away, and then all of a sudden I could see she looked at her badge and said, oh, wait a second, stop. And so she, was, she finished her conversation, she got off, and then she said, so home health, so what do you guys do? Uh, she said, because you know, I've got a family member who's kind of sick, and I need somebody to do home health for them. And uh, we explained to her, said, oh, well, actually, you know, that it's not the kind of home health that we do. We actually have something else to share. And it began to share with our canvas and share with her what we had to offer. And before long, uh, she began to cry. She said, you know what? She said, I've actually been praying that God would send somebody to my house to share with me about Jesus. And sure enough, here we were there to share with her. And so stories like that really encouraged me, and I hope they encourage you too, to know that there may be times where you're nervous to do something to where perhaps maybe there's something that you maybe don't feel that comfortable doing. And it's really easy when something's not comfortable for us to do that we want to say, you know what? Maybe that's just not what God wants. Maybe that's not my gift. But you know, sometimes it's those things that make us uncomfortable are actually the things that we need the most especially when it comes to sharing our faith. It's just as I noticed when I went out and shared it, as I began to share more that God began to give me peace about them, and give you peace about as well too. And God can use you to do some amazing things. And to be able to touch people's lives, you don't have to be the best speaker in the world. You don't have to have all the right words at all the right times. But God will be with you. Uh, God just wants you to have an open heart and a willingness to be able to use you, or to allow yourself to be used by Him. And that uh, God will do some awesome stuff. I found that during those moments, I had some of the greatest experience in my life and continue to as I allow God uh, to maybe push me past my comfort zone. So there's one of the verses I'm going to ask you to read. Uh, it's a verse that perhaps uh, some of the congregation may even memorize. It's a really good one. It's found in Jeremiah chapter 29. It's the highlight of God's face. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for you to prosper you and not harm you, plans to give you hope in the future. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. Amen. So that's my encouragement for you, young lady, young ladies, and offer all the church today as well to you, just to continue to allow yourself to be available to God. Uh, an open heart and a willingness to serve Him is all He asks. And that He will do some amazing things as we allow ourselves to be used. So with that in mind, let's have a word of prayer and we'll go back to our seats. Uh, dear gracious Heavenly Father, I want to thank you so much for the opportunity we have to be able to be used by you. Uh, Father, we know that sometimes uh, our shyness or perhaps sometimes even the devil can try to discourage us uh, to not share with you with others or to make us feel like maybe that's not our gift or our talent. Uh, but Lord, ultimately, know that all of us have been called to share our faith with others. And uh, Father, I just pray that you would give us the strength, uh, the boldness, as we read earlier in Deuteronomy, and uh, also to be reminded of the plan and purpose that we have, as we mentioned in Jeremiah as well, that you have for our lives. And as we call upon you, uh, you will answer us. So I thank you for your love, your grace, and for the ability to be able to share our faith with those around us. Uh, we praise you, Lord, and we ask this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.